really? Interesting choice. Um... Let's go, Octa, and move away from Fox. Mando up. Uh, Opting to move away from Kirby. Turn around up tilt by Mando. Pivot up tilt. Good little bit of tech there. Not too many people are. Oh. Skilled at that pivot up tilt. But let's go with the. Miss. Great forward tilt there, just a smidge too low, and good awareness to immediately smash the opposite direction with the reverse ledge the end. Good patience there. You know, Pikachu's vertical velocity, or acceleration rather, is extremely fast. Uh, he gets to the peak of his jump quickly. And then when he's there, he doesn't, you know, plummet like a rock. So he can kind of hang out when he jumps and then react accordingly. But... It's on a handful of damage. Ooh, the grab doesn't count. Back throw. Okay, not a terrible choice. I, I, I'll allow it. Perhaps didn't want to go for an off-stage combo there. Ooh, that was extremely risky by Let's Go. He went right into Mando's wheelhouse. Mando had just dash back grab, but Mando might just be trying to go for the cleanest grab that he can. He doesn't want to commit to something and then potentially get lose the grab battle himself. Great ledge cancel by Let's Go. A great read there on the recovery and forces him to get up quickly with the Thunder Shock. Thunder Jolt. Mando not able to reach. Let's go, takes the lead. And another handful of damage. There's that other situation, Jazz, but no grab. Ooh, run in, up smash. The heavy call out. Repeated taunts. Cannot run. No escape. Okay, I like the little option there. Right, let's go. Oh, great call out with the Nair. And forward smash. Great option because there was no opportunity really for Let's Go. It was essentially above Pika, and he would have had to DI far out and then far in. But Let's Go able to evade. And that's something that not too many players will do anymore. Um, roll to push someone off. They even did it in the first place. Roll to push someone off or fall off yourself. Um, it's a neat little trick. But viability is quite cool. Up tilt, trade. Up air, or anti air. Now let's go ahead the right option. Op uh, idea there. That was a beautiful tech chaser. It allowed him to get that follow-up grab. And does it one more time for good measure, but... That might be enough with the reverse back air. Let's go, displaying good awareness in the peak of the day. There were some, uh, some moments that things just went unpunished, but... I think this is a better choice. Um, did hear that Mando believed that he was feeling this matchup over the weekend, so then the question becomes familiarity on Let's Go's behalf. Two backers already. Because despite this being a favorable matchup for Pika, it's still very difficult if you're unfamiliar with Kirby doing Kirby things. 
not exploiting Pika's incredible hitboxes. Grab will come out eventually. A little slow, is This might lead, no, just a shield set. He went for it prematurely. And let's go, clears the stage. Goes for a thunder. And oh, beautiful roll there by Let's Go. He was perfectly aware that Mando was aware that another up tilt was going to push him off. So he had to go for the down air. And he was ready for it. That was nice. I'm stealing that. That's going to be enough to kill on the top. No matter where he went in that situation, uh, he had to pray that the throw was going to be the bottom of the stage. That 109, so... That's a risk, approaching the forward air against the grounded Kirby. And another stab with the forward smash. Mando keeps him in place with that forward air, lands the forward smash. Single zip. A uh, bit of an error. Up air is a little too early there. It's going to be extremely difficult. Mando up 4 2. Gets pushed. And that's a much better option than forward air. Great forward tilt. Mando with a clean stock lead, but as we know, this is not. Uh, a, a Kirby stock can vanish just by. Uh, Simple edge guard. You don't even have to get the zero to death. It, it, Kirby Shield is so god awful that he just gets stabbed a lot. And oh, blows the Z cancel. Lots of near misses here from both players. And let's go trying to approach from the bottom as opposed to the side. And once he moves to the side, immediately has success. I recommend everyone go watch Boom's video on Pika and Kirby, if you haven't yet. Down there takes the stock, and Let's Go only took 20%, which is exactly what he needed. Oh, down air, up smash, Nair, uh, opted for the Nair, maybe DI affected that pretty heavily. Fastball back air, beautiful. Just playing the edge guard game and great down tilt. After being down 3-2, let's go. Just push Mando down to his last stock. Fastball doesn't possibly or doesn't work. Turn around. No jump, but okay. Mando went for the up B. Oh, a great DI. Thunder gets him thinking twice, even though, again, standing there in shield. It doesn't matter because Kirby's shield is absolutely abysmal. No DI. Back there. Manages to sneak past. Oh, the throw will kill on the top platform. And for Let's Go to only take 35%, this is still problematic. Um, Pivot ledge grab, but no jump, and he falls to his death. That is terribly unfortunate. Man. After such a strong game, that could potentially erase all the momentum. You don't ever want to go off on a 0% SD on the last breaking stock. Last stock. Lord Air takes him. And the push off is just up. Good awareness by Mando that time to jump off and not shield and potentially get grabbed. And let's go keep him pinned in the corner. Great pivot up tilt by Mando. Can't, er, can't capitalize. 
Kirby is slightly invincible, or slightly vulnerable there. Great up tilt by Let's Go to cover that down air. He takes a stock lead. Essentially, I think the... No, never mind. Great defensive up airs here by Let's Go. Just trying to get by on strike with the matchup, I think. Up tilt. Mando goes to the top. Yeah, beautiful low angle forward tilt and the snipe with the thunder jolt. And let's go as a 4 2 lead, just like Mando did. Very fortunate that Mando isn't getting uh, punishes off those up airs. That's a very punishable situation to be in. Kirby can almost always instant aerial. Uh, finally gets the back air to trade. Becomes big Kirby. Mega Kirby, if you will. Fastball down there. Another edge guard situation. No jumps for Mando. And let's go up 3 1 right now. Fastball in there, or flat drop in there. Away. Reverse back air. Tries to get the call out on the loop. This is going to be difficult for Mando to get back. Up. Great mix up. Fast fall. Let's go playing extremely well. Pivot up to we'll put Mando in position. Uh, not a great position for an edge guard, but a position nonetheless. Ooh, I don't know if that was a, a great forward smash or not, but. Forward smash from Mando, but he is still in extremely difficult. It doesn't matter. Let's go with a beautiful read there. And that's what three games will get you. Picking up on invincibility habits is a wonderful way to uh, take fast stocks. Is this, is this a wild shaman?